And in the women's division, we've got, uh, whoa, an all Austrian final. How do you like that? <laughs> and from Austria, what a surprise, Jasmine Usha. <laughs> Ich kann auch Deutsch reden. Aus Österreich, Jasmin Uschal. Eine Double Time, Gerda Hofstetter. And for all the English viewers, from Austria, Gerda Hofstetter. Thank you very much. Players leg for the break and have fun. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the final match of the women's nine ball division here from the Dynamic European Championships 2011. But uh, if you followed the tournament, you could have seen that it uh, didn't work out in eight ball. She got defeated by Marika Poikiocchi. But she snatched the title in straight pool. She's still in the single elimination stages of the ten ball, and she's in the final of the nine ball. So let's see which one of these fine female pool players will be able to win this match and uh, snatch the title here. We still have a nice layout here for Yasmin. But it's not so easy to play position for the four here. She has to draw the two ball back. And, uh, wow, there you go. Hmm. It's makeable. It's probably a thin cut along the long rail in the corner pocket. Position for the five ball will be there almost automatically. <laughs> nice shot by Yasmin Ushan. And it looks like there's no more problems in this rack. And it also looks like we will have a change in the commentary for you, ladies and gentlemen. And I will would like to switch the microphone over to your used commentator, Mr. Marco Takis. Hi, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, yeah, welcome to the finals one more time uh, of the uh, women's division. I hope we're going to get a shot of uh, of the wheelies uh, from here to there. Uh, we could, uh, we were able to do it in, uh, in Zagreb. I'm not sure if we have the possibility, the technical possibilities here in, uh, uh, in Brandenburg. Now let's focus on the last shot here of uh, Jasmine. She is playing the nine in the corner.
For Shard is called by uh, Gerda Hofstetter. Jasmine is coming back at the table, having a quick look at the rack and at the one ball. I have her coming three rails behind the four here. Playing the one ball, coming one, two, maybe three rails or two rails behind the four, playing a safety. She's going to bank it. Maybe she's she's going to try to bank it, and then she's going to have a three for. Uh yeah, the reason for it is uh, she has the three. Very clever play here from Jasmine. She had yeah. She tried to bank it into the side, but played it in such a way that uh, she's going to leave it uh, into the center of the short cushion. She would make it, then she would have the uh, three for the side. <coughs> well, she didn't leave here much. She can see the uh, one ball, and there is a, a way to play the safe. Push the one forward, try to keep the nine the one ball behind the nine. And that's uh, exactly what she have done. Use the nine ball as a blocker. Kick at the one ball was not that fortunate. She left it for uh, a Jasmine in front of the corner pocket, hanging there. She's a bit too too low here on the three. She has uh, yeah. She has to come off of the short rail, but there's no problem for her. <coughs> Just making the three and then uh, roll forward. That's it. Let it roll. And this is huge for Austria. Um, we had uh, Mario He in the nine ball finals yesterday, runner up and already won silver medal for uh, Austria. On top of that, now uh, in an all Austrian final, this is uh, Gerda and Jasmine. They will take another two. This is a uh, it's really big for a small country like Austria. Well, it's not the smallest. We got Luxembourg is uh, pretty small too, but uh yeah. And here you can see the back, the arm swinging of the arm, good technique going through, coming back. Now looking at the eight ball. Having a quick look at the nine.
Good shot. Pulling it back for the nine ball, so she was just brushing off uh, the cloth there. It was a good break um, by Jasmine Ocean, uh, considering uh, the layout here. Look at that. Everything is in the open. Just the opening shot is maybe not that what, what you want to have. If uh, the Cuba would be in the middle of the, the table, she would uh, could take care better of the Wumbo butt. This is the... Uh, if she makes this one, she could try... And look at that. Wow, beautiful shot. Landing on the two. She's got an angle to travel for the four ball. Three to the four, the five, uh, and the seven is over there. I don't want to call it a challenging shot here. I mean, the 7 to the 8 is, is no problem. Absolutely not for this young uh, woman from Austria. <coughs> she's done it a, a thousand times before. And she's able to do it again here in the finals of uh, the European Championships, the Dynamic European Championships 2011. She pulled it back just a bit. Accepting a tougher shot on the nine. I'm not sure if she did it because she wasn't sure about the eight. But she w she is able to play it. Oh, and very uncharacteristic mistake by Jasmine. Ah, that was a dry break. He announced it. Jasmine is not allowed to push to play a push out. She can only give it back. She's only allowed to give it back. Only the person who's breaking. Who's breaking? Can play push. She ain't gonna give it back. She sees the one ball. She's gonna try to play. 
Safety. Hide the cue ball. Didn't get there. <coughs> Hide the cue ball behind the force. It didn't get there. It's Gerda Hofstadter who can see a bit of uh, that one ball. That's great. She could see even more than I thought. And playing uh, the one ball up table, touching that rail, uh, securing herself uh, to play not a foul. And it's uh, Jasmine now oh, going around the table, having a little walk around this beautiful dynamic table. Dynamic two. <coughs> She's looking for a three-rail shot here. Look at that now. There's a lot of traffic, but she could make it. I, f I think she has the three rails. Going around the four, missing the eight ball there at the at the rail, and then coming in between that uh, two seven alley to get to the to one ball. It's not easy, but it's a makeable one. Let's have a see at the. Let's have a look at the stroke. Here she goes. One, two, three, there you go, in between the alley, nice shot, almost made it, second chance, no, that was a good one, that was a good one, I liked it, the shot, but, it, well, it was a tough one, almost made it. The other table there is Uni Tati against uh, Henrik Larsen. <coughs> oh, and it's Henrik Larsen uh, taking the lead here, two to nothing, in a race to seven in the wheelchair division. Uh, looks like. Uni is in uh, trouble. Old Scandinavian uh, final there. Finland against Sweden. And it's uh, Jasmine here back at the table. She didn't want to. And she's looking at uh, at the table and the balls and uh, like saying to herself, "Oh, come on! You saw that before that it could happen. Uh, why you didn't focus?" But already accepting the jump, taking out the jump cue. There's no time for uh, crying here at the table. Wow, what a great shot from Jasmine Ushan jumping over the seven. Incredible. <laughs> this girl is unbelievable. <laughs> Really nice, really nice to see. <laughs> I, I've seen many jump shots here uh, on this TV table so far in uh, in this tournament from the men played, but uh, not all of them went inside. I mean, yeah, yesterday that was a great one from <laughs> Nick Vandenberg in the finals. Yeah, it seems like they're saving the best for last, isn't it? 
In the finals, they're pulling out the shots. play position for the side, uh, wasn't she? She was going for the side, I think. The question is, can she cut it now into the corner without scratching? If not, what are the other options? She's looking now at the... Uh, well, I don't think so. The natural path would be the uh, side pocket. You see, she's, go she's looking at now. So this is uh, the path of the of the uh, six into the uh, corner. And now she's looking at the other path. Well, maybe she can cheat it by playing high ball. Can't really determine it from here. Oh, well, yeah, she had it. Cut it thinly into that corner pocket. Was that a cheating here of uh, the path by applying left side English, playing it too thin, and by playing left side English, maybe straighten it out? To get the seven, uh, to get the six into the corner pocket and not scratching, I don't know. I have to ask later on. Maybe she will tell us the secret, or she w just felt so. I don't think so. Uh, there's always a reason for them players th uh, out there uh, applying English here and there. The thing is, I can't see. I can't really see it from here. What was the uh, the real path of the cue well after contacting? Uh, the six, but this is, uh, doesn't matter because uh, there's the eight traveling now into the corner pocket. And uh, she's got the nine here. Nine ball goes. You heard it. Rack number five. Jasmine Ocean to break. Leading by three racks to a. Uh, to one powerful break. Oof. Three, so she made three balls on the break. Three balls on the break. That's good. That's a good result. But she doesn't have a shot on it too. Well, she has uh, maybe the bank. And if she bank it, then she needs to fall on the three ball. I'm not sure it well, it could be she needs to come then around the nine or cross banking it to the side. <coughs> wow, great shot. Coming from above the nine. Okay, she's not going around. I want to see a, a match between uh, the winner of this match and the winner of the yesterday's final of the men. That would be an interesting thing. Are we internet stream it to a race to 50? For, uh, well, you name it. Let's find some sponsor and then play it. Played over three days, race to 50, winner takes it all. I mean, so far she pulled out bank shots, jumps, kick shots.
she's playing the lady. Uh, she's playing different uh, speed, uh, tempo, the lady style, you know, like slowing down. Okay, I'm not sure if she's doing with uh, with a shot clock. I never saw her playing shot clock. <coughs> I'm sure she can adapt her game to that. But uh, if it's the case that she does need it, wh why she should? Nine ball down, deposits a nine into the left corner pocket. Four games to one against Gerda. But it's Francesco playing there. I hope the journalist is not uh, taking a step f uh, back. It was a good break, by the way, uh, from Gerda. It's the uh, television company RBB. So Gerd has got the uh, two ball. Actually, it's not a fair play here. This is these are two people playing against one. See little baby here, and uh, tummy of uh, Gerda. She's pregnant. Yeah, she's waiting a, a little baby. I'm not sure in which month she is. So, so I don't want to say anything wrong here. So yeah, no, it's two playing against one. Does that uh, the WPA rules have it here in some way? <coughs> Look at the same thing like uh, yesterday we had Super Mario playing. And uh, all of a sudden uh, there's no Super Mario, there's Super Mario and Luigi playing then. That would be also two against one and uh, probably would have better chances to win the, the very strong uh, Nick Vandenberg yesterday. How cool is that? Oh, hmm. this was no good. She will play a safety. Yeah. Oh, she's trying to make it. No, she's playing the safety. <coughs> I have Jasmine uh, going for the jump cue now. Yeah, already took it. I can imagine that it's uh, it's tough to play with a baby there. What's what happened if, if the baby inside the stomach says, Hey mom, I'm gonna kick you now or something. She's uh, leaning over the table, which which sometimes happens. I mean kids like to kick or box inside there when they're inside there, you know, like uh, saying, Hey mama, wha what are you doing here? So you're above a ball, and all of a sudden the referee shouts out uh, foul, like now. Yeah, she lost the cue ball there uh, on that jump. Ball in hand. 
for Gerda Hofstetter, who's got uh, the nine ball now for the corner. Queuing, pulling the trigger, one, two, three, go. Boom, down, two games to four only. She's trailing only. Oh, he's got a cool Adidas jacket here. Adidas Originals, 49, really cool looking. Oh, cool. Nice shot by Jasmine. And I just heard that we are live now uh, on the Aktuelle Sportstudio. And uh, it's going to be an interview now with uh, the German coach, the one with the, with the hair. And it's going to be in the background, uh, Ralf Suke, who was the uh, runner-up, and uh, in the background also um, uh, Dominic Jensch. Is it Dominic Jensch there? Well, there's Ralf, but I'm not sure about Dominic. So, uh, yeah, we are live now. <coughs> so, giving interviews for all of you who is getting, uh, who are getting the uh, Sportschau in Austria or maybe in Germany, you can uh, switch in. So, we we're going to have uh, two or three minutes. Oh, they cut it now. They're going for a commercial break, I think. No, there are... Uh, Still talking. <coughs> so right now you might see even Jasmine in the background. They they switch around. Oh, you have Jasmine in the background playing probably in the the other camera where uh, the German Bundespudel. That's how they call him. The hair and the mustache. Andy Huber. <coughs> Still there are live, I think. And uh if you ask me, <laughs> what's the matter with the hair, but okay, you know, you can do what you can do, but uh, if you start to attack people, uh, then it's not so nice. And this happens uh, in all forums some from time to time, in the English, uh, American, and uh, the German forums. Well, freedom of speech is, yeah, okay, it's, it's all right, but uh, once you get personal, and uh, then, then it's not so funny anymore. Always can make a joke.
other side, I see Ralph Sukano there at the table, and there he is. Also, see Stephen Cohen, Scott Higgins, who else is there? Niels, the Terminator. I see Baram Lotfi, Nick Vandenberg. Who's that guy? Is that, uh, I think it's Manuel Gamma, I'm not sure. So here it is. Uh, Jasmine Ushan at the table. Yeah, I see uh, Radoslav Babica, Francesco Sanchez Ruiz. David Al Qaeda with a smile, putting away his cue. So probably he won already. Nice shot here from Jasmine, who's got uh, the one for the same corner pocket. And with the rest, uh, taking out the one. Here's the two for her, there, the blue ball. Yeah, that's the path she need to take for the three. She's going to uh, change the sides. There she is uh, for the three of all. Uh, if she would be straighter, then she would, of course, pull it back straight. But no, with that angle, she's crossing the sides, but no problem. Hitting the right diamond to get to the three ball, and she's got the right angle to fall on the next ball. This being the uh, five. Eight ball down for uh, Jasmine, and she's got the uh, nine for the corner. It was uh, Gerda's break, meaning after that one, it's uh, Jasmine Ushan's break. Down is the nine. Uh, six games to two. Yeah, you heard it. She's on the hill. Mesdames et Messieurs, ladies and gentlemen, meine Damen und Herren. Yasmin Ushan, Jasmine Ushan, here with the break. Have a look at the uh, wing ball. It's going to disappear. No, it didn't disappear, but she made the one ball. She didn't hit them right, you see. and sh uh, When you're not hitting them right, then the wing ball doesn't go. And uh, the indication for not hitting the right is the losing of the cue ball towards the left. She made the one ball, and luckily there is that two ball now to play. It's a tough shot, and she could play position running around the table, but this is, wow. I'm not sure if she's going to make it now, and uh, there is a high percentage shot uh, available. I Means she could play uh, safety. With this many balls there uh, for traffic, sure. 
Or she could play, well, she could play the, the bank, banking the two into the side and having position then on the three ball. Uh, could be an idea. Oh, yeah. yeah. She had to miss. She had to miss the nine. The idea was great. Playing really aggressive here. And I have to uh, dress up here already. I have to uh, put my jacket already uh, on here. And I uh, need to go for the presentation party later on down. Well, it's 4-4 and they had a timeout. I think I will have time because the, the wheelchair, we have to wait for the wheelchair. We, can, we cannot do the presentation before the wheelchairs. Uh, so there's 4-3. I will have three racks at least. Yeah, I'm going to get it. But let's see first. Uh, Gerda Hofstetter uh, trying to take care of the two ball. Almost made it. Oh, and she left it there for Jasmine Ocean. She's jacking up the queue to play a lot of draw. I had to miss the six there, yeah. Can she, she is she able to see? The three ball? I, I don't think so. Now from here it looks like she she doesn't have a shot on the three and she's looking now. To do what? Uh, well, she can see maybe, see maybe the, uh, the part of the three, but playing it uh, with the risk to lose the cue ball. I don't know. Maybe play a curve. Well, that's also not on. I think. She cannot go on the rail because of the traffic. She could go on uh, into the rail first, but uh, there's a seven and the... Uh, it looks like if she can see it. But only the top part of, uh, of it. Yeah, like that. Oh, well. Yeah, she lost it. <laughs> She's upset. <laughs> I like to see emotions here at the table. This is good. She is leading six games to two, and she's upset about that mm -hmm. shot. Well, I think we have to wait with the presentation party because uh, Gerda Hofstetter is on the five and she can fall on the six here. Look at that. Yeah, going for the six. Playing it into the corner, coming around the nine for the seven. Oh, she's coming from above. I think from the behind. No, she's missing it. Yeah, underneath it. It's enough. She's pretty straight on the seven. This is no good because she needs to uh, travel to the other side. Probably she has to pull back here. She's yeah, she's, she's queuing low. Now look at the shot here. Oh, <sighs> yeah. She wanted to do too much with the cue ball. Overpaced the shot. 
she she felt perfect on the eight ball. M- maybe she s- she was thinking like, okay, I need to cheat the pocket a bit, and then uh, I'm gonna fall on the eight. Cheated too much. Uh, for missing the seven and leaving it there for Jasmine Oshon, who doesn't have a o- uh, shot and an open pocket. She has only the uh, the bank. Looking at the cross bank into the side pocket, coming off of the nine back for the the eight ball. Then, oh, that's a tough one. What? Oh, and she made the nine off of the seven. This is uh, the next title for Yasmin Oshan. Mm-hmm. 